Hi, I'm Bruce Busby, President of Roots Magic, and in this short video, we're going to show you the new saved search feature. This is the ability to save some of those complicated search criteria that you maybe have entered in the past and be able to just reuse those simply. So I'm just going to hop over here into the search page, click on search right here over on the left. Now, when you're saving searches, it's going to basically be the ones on the advanced search screen because they're the ones that get really can get really complicated. So I'm going to go to this advanced search page and let's go ahead and just create a search. So I'm going to come in, click on find. Right now you'll see it says no search criteria is defined. Click find. So I'm going to click find and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to select birth, place, contains New York. Okay, nice simple one. Birthplace contains New York. Tell it to search and Roots Magic goes and does a search. And now it right here it's showing me what criteria I'm using. Birthplace contains New York and it's showing me all of these results. Okay, well I want to I want to fancy that up a little bit more. So I'm going to click on find and it still has what I had before. So I'm going to say birthplace contains New York and sex is female. Okay, click OK. It's doing a search. It's updating my search. So now birthplace contains New York and sex is female. So you'll notice that it's actually shortened my list of results up a little bit. And they're all born in New York and they're all female. Okay, let's take it one step further. I want to find all the ones that all the women in New York uh, in the eight, who were born basically in the 1800s. So I'm going to say and birth date uh, is after. And I'm going to say uh, 1799. So I want everybody whose birth date is after 1799. And then I'm going to say, and birth date is before 1900. So in other words, I want, ev I want everybody whose birthplace contains New York and their sex is female, and they were born after 1799 and before 1900, so basically the 1800s. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And so now I ha have a nicely filtered list. Everybody was born in New York, they're all female, and they were all born in the 1800s. Okay, now let's say that this is a search that I do quite often. Well, I'd, I'd hate to have to come in here every time and go in there and enter all of that to do this search. So what I'm going to do is I can come in here to saved searches and it looks like I've already got a couple saved people that are born in Boston and born in Pennsylvania. And I'm going to say I want to create a new saved search. Now when I click on that from here, it already has the search I just did. So I don't actually have to re-enter it if I've done it once, if I've done it and that's what's on the screen, it's already there. So all I have to do is click OK. It asks for the name for the save criteria, and I'm just going to say uh, New York Women of the 1800s. You can call it whatever you want. Okay, and I now have a new save search criteria, New York Women of the 1800s. Going to go ahead and close that. Now I can come in here and I can clear this criteria, clear the results. The next time I come in here, uh, you know, I can go. I can go work on whatever. The next time I come back in here to in here to the search, to that advanced search, instead of clicking on find and entering all that, I just click on save searches. I select that search and I just say do the search. And there's my search. So I ha now have that search. It's been saved. I can also I can just switch between these all I want. If I want to say everybody born in Boston, boom. There's everybody born in Boston. Save searches. I want to say everybody born in PA. Okay, there they are, everybody born in Pennsylvania. Now that born in PA, you see when I bring this up, there's some, several options right here. 
when I say born in PA, that's just the name I gave it. If I click edit, you can see it's actually birthplace contains Pennsylvania. So it's not actually born in PA, it's gonna be born in Pennsylvania. So if I wanted to change that name, I just highlight it, say rename, and then I can say, I can just change the name right there. So I can rename the criteria. If I, if I have a, some criteria that I don't need anymore, I highlight it and I just click delete, boom, that search, search is not there anymore. So now if I were to come in here, if I were to come in here and uh, let's clear this criteria and click on save searches and click new, Okay, you'll see now, since I don't have any criteria defined right now, it's going to bring me up with the standardized empty criteria where I can type in whatever I want. So if I've done, if I've done a find and I've got that criteria open, that's when I click new, it's automatically there for me to just to click OK and I now have it saved. Uh, if I don't have any criteria, then I can go in and enter the criteria however I want. Okay, now, once you have the saved searches, you can use it in other places, not just here on the search screen. So for example, if I'm back here on the main screen, and let's say I go up into tools, and let's say I'm gonna do the problem list. When I do the problem list, one of the features that's new in Roots Magic 9 is the ability to select who you are going to include in the problem list. So if I click on that, and I say, I want to select people from a list. Okay, this brings up the Roots Magic Explorer and where I can select people to include in the problem list. And uh, if I click Mark, you have all the th things you've had before, families, everyone in the file, ancestors, descendants, by data fields. By data fields is the one that opens up that criteria. Okay, well, we also now, under both Mark and Unmark, we now have saved searches. So if I go to save searches, and I select New York women of the 1800s, boom, it just marked those New York women of the 1800s. Those are the people that are now selected. So these save searches are available at, in, at, at various points where you normally would be able to use that criteria screen. Uh, now you'll always have that available option to, uh, to use the, the saved searches. Well, that's, that's how you use safe searches. And those, uh, those safe searches, you can use them anytime you want. You can add, edit, delete them anytime you want. So hopefully you find this useful. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon.